To quickly catch you up, we have driven all over Alaska and last week was our final adventure in the 49th state. We drove down a 60 mile sketchy dirt road where travel is not recommended, all to find this incredible paradise. This week we drive through the Yukon and show you some of the raw realities of living in a van. We drove all the way from the beautiful town of McCarthy, crossed back into Canada, and now we are camped on Kluwani Lake in the Yukon. Behind us is the Kluwani mountain range. We wanted to hike those mountains on our way to Alaska, but winter was so much longer than we expected, so we're hitting them on the way back. Let's go. As you can see by both of us wearing these adorable hats, <laughs> It's insanely windy in this region, so the hats are necessary because otherwise we'll be showcasing a brand new hairdo that you don't want to see. Are you ready to go hiking? Where we slept last night was actually an abandoned campground and we read about this place on iOverlander and I thought it might be a little bit creepy but it has actually been amazing 10 out of 10 experience I'd say other than the wind but I just thought that was kind of interesting so I wanted to share it with you. Wow the wind is seriously no joke here and quick fun fact the area right beside where we slept last night is actually called Destruction Bay and yes it's called Destruction Bay because of a massive windstorm that happened back there in the 40s that completely wiped out the small town. And now we're going to make some trail snacks and hit the trail. All right. Cute hiker girl. Cute hiker girl. That's what they call me. First stop, most important stop, oh. the pit toilet. <laughs> Ooh. This is a nice one. <laughs> it even has a fancy lock. <laughs> Definitely no toilet paper in this one. I have to go back to the room. <laughs> well, this is new. I'm pretty sure we read that it was pet friendly. I don't really like breaking those rules, so I think we might have to find another hike. Decision making, la 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 la. This is misleading, because this sign says, so the trail we're hiking right now is along Sheep Mountain, and they name it that because lots of sheep live on this mountain. At this point, we're not really sure we're on a trail anymore. <laughs> Classic Talon Mods. For now, I'm just gonna hang out in my pirate's hat and uh, reevaluate. Looks like the only way to go is back. <laughs> what are you gonna do when you live in a shoe? Okay, we just passed by that little map and confirmed we did go the wrong way. I feel like I'm usually pretty directionally aware. aware. <laughs> so I feel very embarrassed that we went the wrong way I'll, when there was two ways. I'll take the uh, I'll take the blame. I definitely led us in the wrong direction. So it's okay, babe. <laughs> the scenic route. Oh, it's a straight uphill, but I think we can confirm we're going the right way. Woo! Yeah, baby. A big selling point to get me to do this hike was uh, because of our drone accident. <laughs> and by our drone accident, I mean my drone accident, where I flew it into a glacier wall. But if you saw that video, you know it was worth it. Basically, we can't rely on our drone to get us the beautiful vantage point that we want when we're in the mountains. So, gotta put in the work and put one foot in front of the other to get there. <laughs> oh, you're showing off for the camera. Right, we seem to have made it to the end. Look at this. You know, I'm pretty grateful that Talia comes on these hikes with me because I know that <laughs> it wasn't her number one thing to do today. I don't know why people go hiking. This is like, <laughs> this is my podcast of I'm never hiking again. Let's just say that much. And she's here smiling. <sighs> so, thanks babe. What can I say? You make me do crazy things. <laughs> 
blue skies and sunshine for the way back, <sighs> this is always when you start to feel that it's worth it. Maddie got new trail runners. Have we already told them? I don't know. But she's very happy with them. Show them. Wow. I have funny toes and my toes <laughs> are a problem in shoes always. But not in these ones. Woo. Okay. We're gonna have our lunch and hike back. We'll see you back at the van. Pretty proud of us because the sign said it takes on average three to six hours to do that. We did in two and a half. Woo! Hi, Shelly. Hello from a future cleaner me. I just wanted to jump in here and tell you about this week's supporter. We travel a lot and traveling can do some serious damage to your skin, but we do not have to worry about that anymore thanks to Genucel skincare. These products are formulated by a pharmacist. They're never tested on animals. They're made with natural ingredients and they're super easy to travel with. What more could you want? As you can see, we got a whole bunch of their products, but our absolute favorite is their deep firming serum. It's a liposomal vitamin C serum, just a few drops drops go such a long way to hydrating your skin and getting that radiant glow. Couple drops, then you rub it in. Oh, this feels so good. Right now, try their Summer Essential Package that is personally curated with all the products for your specific areas of need and help take care of your skin while under the summer sun. Take advantage of this limited time introductory offer today and get GenuCell's immediate effects free with your purchase of the Summer Essentials Package. Transform your skin today and order GenuCell for results that you will love. So go to GenuCell.com slash Tal and Mads for an exclusive discount at checkout. This in and of itself is like some serious self-care. Good morning. Yesterday after that hike we drove to Whitehorse. We love it here. We spent a couple days here regrouping on our way up and that's exactly what we're gonna do today. And the kids are home. <gasps> Hi! Hey. Morning everyone. We have made it back here to Whitehorse. We are having a housekeeping day today because we have a big drive ahead that we need to get prepared for. On the way here, we took the Alcan Highway up to Alaska. We made it! Woo! And on our way back, we're taking the other route, which is the Stuart Cassier Highway. And along that highway, there are much less services and towns to stop at, so we need to stock up. Sleepy meds. We're very excited to be back in Canada for a lot of reasons. Mm -hmm. One of them being that we get to go to one of our favorite grocery stores today. <laughs> and that when we buy stuff, we don't have to calculate that it's 30% more expensive. I don't even do that. <laughs> okay, let's go to the grocery store. Before we leave, I'll just show you where we've been sleeping here in Whitehorse, um, because it's just a reality of van life. We are sleeping basically in a little parking lot in the town, but it's pretty nice here in Whitehorse. They have designated RV parking right in their town center. And the river is behind us. We just can't really have the door open policy here. And my favorite part about this spot is that we have this garden now. <laughs> and we were here about a month ago. It was gray and there was no greenery. And now our flowers are blooming. I I can't tell you how happy I am that I can start doing this while driving. It feels oh like the summer that's where I wanna be. Oh, oh, there goes my shoe. There's something special about bringing your coffee to the grocery store. Okay, I'm time to get rid of the bags of garbage we've been hoarding. Big cleanup day today, you guys. I am embarrassed to say we are running around the town right now looking for garbage disposal. They're usually right outside of the grocery store, but here we are walking across the street with our garbage. Blue sky, blue sky, blue sky. Okay, now we can go get some food. And it feels like the summer. Oh, it feels like the summer to me. It feels like the summer. Summer and it's where I wanna be. Ooh. Very nice. I can 
easily spend like two hours in a grocery store. Wow, look at how many veggie products. Whoa. Ah. Yes, the veggie links. Very good, actually a little spicy. Trying to pull Maddie away from the fresh pasta aisle is extremely difficult. A recent hack we've been doing is getting a prepared guac because it actually lasts for a long time. A couple of weeks ago when we were back in Alaska, we found a place that served vegan crunch wraps, creams. Maddie freaked out. And so we just made a quick pivot. We're getting stuff to make vegan crunch wrap supremes. Maybe we'll make them tonight with you. <laughs> crunch wrap dance, crunch wrap dance, crunch wrap dance, yeah. Hopefully there's no one behind me. Ooh, close call. Yeah, yeah, here. But look at this, tortilla pocket, no mess. Wow. I love the grocery store. <laughs> Miss Vicky, my girl. She's a Canadian legend. We've missed her. I just grabbed President's Choice white mac and cheese, which is Maddie's favorite thing in the entire world. She's very easy to please. Just watch how excited she'll be when she sees this in the car. Nice. Yes. Yes, 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 and yes! <laughs> uh, I love President's Choice. Have I said that already? Yeah, okay. Okay, now we begin fridge Jenga. One bonus is we don't have to bag our stuff. We could just bring the car right to the fridge. Oh, it feels like the summer and it's where I want to be. It feels like the summer. Oh, it feels like the summer to me. Oh, it feels like the summer. Oh, it feels like the summer. It feels like the summer to me. All right, now I feel like we can go off grid for a bit. <laughs> we are locked and loaded and I love it. <laughs> I don't know what I keep doing with my hand over here. Classic. You want to see it though? Wow. Oh, yeah. Snacks for days, baby. And? Woo! Oh, yeah. Wow. Can't forget our cute pantry. The quinoa is restocked, very important piece. High five. Feels so good. Yeah. And after grocery shopping, we came back to the van ravenous. So <laughs> it's a quick bowl of cereal for breakfast today. Slash brunch. Brunch. Okay, now that we've attended YouTube University, we are ready for these crunch wraps. Okay, so we've got large soft shell tacos, hard shell tacos, cheese, guac, tomatoes, shredded lettuce, and we made a little chipotle mayo, Mexican flavored tofu grounds. We're gonna wrap these babies up. Wish us luck. So YouTube University taught us that the warm ingredients should go first, and then you put the crunchy layer. You gotta break them in half. And then all of the fresh ingredients on top of the crunchy layer. Okay. Got it? Got it. Okay, time to put the fresh stuff on top. The hardest part of any taco burrito related item for me is the wrapping. Yeah. I always make a mess, so we'll, we'll see how this goes. So number one thing we learned from YouTube University on Crunchwrap Supreme is to cover the middle so that when you wrap it, it's all covered. Okay, here we go. It was going so well. Okay, that didn't turn out perfect, but I'm hopeful for round two. Hit it! Moment of truth. It stayed perfectly. It looks like a little house. Gorgeous. Okay. I asked her for a fork and a knife. <laughs> Wow, that looks perfect. <laughs> wow, mission accomplished. 
Nice job. 10 out of 10. We're so adding this to the repertoire. <laughs> and the amazing thing about crunch wraps is that you get the perfect bite. Every time. <laughs> Every time. I want to make sure you can see. Mm. Look at all the levels. Oh yeah. Then, with any leftover ingredients, taco salad time. Mm. Leave it. Leave it. <gasps> Look at me. Okay. Yes! Oh, off the table. People are going to shame us. <laughs> good morning. Today is a good day. It's a good day because it is shower day. <laughs> Hence why I'm wearing this hat to cover my hair that hasn't been washed in way too many days. TMI. We usually have been finding a Planet Fitness to shower at as we can also work out, so that has been just working really well for us. Um, but here in Whitehorse, there is not a Planet Fitness, but we found a local gym. It's at a big community center, so there's actually a pool, tennis courts, pickleball courts, all the things. So that's where today's shower is going to be brought to us from. <laughs> Feeling good. Ooh, ooh. Before we can leave Whitehorse, we have been waiting for one final thing to prepare us for this long stretch ahead. And that is a package that is coming in the mail and just arrived a few days late, but nonetheless, it's here. My amazing parents were kind enough to send their drone from Toronto in the mail to Whitehorse so we can have it for the rest of the trip on one condition that we take a lot of drone footage so they can see more of our journey. <laughs> and so I'm just running into the staples here in Whitehorse to pick it up. I'm so happy it made it here. And then we're going to start the next leg of our journey. Thanks, mom and dad. Love you. Woohoo! Yeah! Secured the goods. I'm so happy it's here. Oh my Receiving God. mail on the road can definitely be a little bit tricky. So I am just so happy that it's here and we didn't have to wait too long. And now onwards and upwards, baby. Or downwards, I guess. Before we leave, we had to get a burger from A&W. And sweet potato fries. Because if this road is anything like what we've heard, we won't see things like this for a while. So. We're gonna enjoy this, and then we're gonna hit the road. And we'll see you next week. Hope it made you smile. <laughs>